Hi there, I'm Ruchi Mukherjee, your host for International Society News Magazine here at the Asia Society Texas Center, bringing you all the details from the 16th Indian Film Festival of Houston, where we are celebrating cinematic arts of India. Because of the advent of OTTs in the last, say, seven, eight years, we are getting to see a lot of new voices, which uh, new actors and even a lot of young directors are coming up. A lot of experimentation is happening. But at the same time, I might say that uh, Hindi cinema has, you know, if you see the films for the last seven, eight months, I think it's a huge, it's a, it's a basic device of propaganda for the government, yeah. which I find uncomfortable. You no, know, I, I live in Miami and uh, I find a, you know, great similarity between Miami and Houston. Weather-wise, and the people are warm and there's a lot of Latin influence, uh, Mexican influence in both the cities. So I think it's culturally very rich um, and uh, not only Bengali culture but Indian culture, the way Houston propagates and this film festival is one such vehicle for sure. I love to give and this is something I give back to the community. Houston has changed for over 16 years, now it's the most diverse city and as you know our audience is not only from India but it's all over the country and the world, so it feels great. It's amazing. Every year coming here and being a part of the festival, it's an amazing learning experience. Although I've been a part of this from day one, but every year you come here and you watch a different kind of cinema and you meet the makers and you meet the people who support it. It's a very liberating experience in terms of how you grow as a human being because the kind of people that you meet here. You know, movies, entertainment is something that is or has been loved by the people of the world from centuries. There is hate spread all over the world with so much mind put into it. How about spreading love through it? Hope you enjoyed this segment of Society with Ruchi with cameraman Jonathan Brown. See you next time.